What's up, everybody? This is Michael with Michelin Metals. Happy New Year's. Glad to be in 2021. See you 2020. Thanks for nothing. So, today we're going to talk about specifications. Super important, right? Because you know what I'm always telling you? Check the spec. So, today we're going to learn about the people that create these specs and the types. And so, Unless you are new to our videos about metals, you know we always remind you how important specifications are. So remember, hmm, 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 hmm. So today we thought we would spend a little bit of time talking about the various organizations behind commercial specifications for the metals we see today. Early in the development of various industries, Producers, engineers, and users of metals recognize the need for establishing some common standards for both communication and requirements. The story really begins with the new technologies developing in the last half of the 1800s. Steel, steam power, railroads, petroleum, automobiles, and airplanes. Yeah, that's airplane, okay? And so with the development of steam power, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME, established standards for design and construction of boilers and pressure vessels. Early on, steam power plants and railroad steam engines had a nasty habit of Okay, so that's bad. The exploding parts, not so good. You don't want explosions, right? And so those explosions happen when flawed designs, construction, or materials were employed. Today, ASME material specifications are recognized, are for materials recognized for use in boilers and pressure applications, including nuclear power stations. The American Society for Testing and Materials, ASTM, is an organization with its roots in developing standards for steel rails and rolling stock during the development years of the railroad and steel industries in the late 1800s. True to their name, ASTM today has thousands of standards for materials and test methods in a broad range of industries. The automobile led to the formation of the Society of Automotive Engineers, aka SAE, right? And they had their own focus on materials in their industry. In short order, it also included the development of aircraft in its scope. And today, we have both ground-based SAE standards and the Aerospace Material Specifications, a.k.a. AMS. War and defense technologies are also developing. From the first steel battleships, armor, and artillery, made the government another specification agency for sophisticated steel and other metals. Military and other federal requirements identified as MIL and FED cover a wide range of products. Many companies also create their own specs for their own material and would then incorporate at least portions of these industry specifications within them. For example, the aerospace and defense companies have specifications using their own acronyms, such as Boeing's BAC, Pratt Whitney's LCS, GE's GE, and Lockheed, and so on and so forth are there just to name a few. These specifications add requirements or restrictions, but also incorporate many provisions of the industry standards. So that's that about folks that make specs. Remember, we have all the following types of specs and a few more. ASME, ASTM, SAE, AMS, MIL, FED, BAC, LCS, GE, and probably as many more. But for now, that's what you get. Next up is going to be a series on aircraft quality alloy steels. Mm. So stay tuned. And if you made it this far, you have an affinity for metal. You like steel. I know you do. You wouldn't have made it this far otherwise. So, subscribe, please. If not, you miss any of your previous videos, click there. There you go. You'll be all caught up. This is Michael with Michelin Metals. Happy New Year. Thanks for tuning in, and I am out.